another episode of Partners Project. This is a very special one because I'm doing it with a fellow Montrealer who's now big in Hollywood. But he doesn't forget his YouTube roots, John Lejoie. Hey, YouTube, what's that? What's, sorry, on Remember TV that? now. It's like that on square TV. and a small screen. TV dollars, baby. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're really moving on up. Yeah, that's right, baby. You're like totally loaded. Hollywood. I club all the time. Every night I go out clubbing. No way. And I pick up chicks, lots of chicks. Paparazzi. Girl, I'm a sexually attractive man. So that's who I am now. Wow. Yeah. That's on your Wikipedia? Yeah. I'm out of here. Cause I don't give a I'm crazy, like Mel Gibson. No, wait, that just makes me sound racist. You started on YouTube way back when. 2007 represent. <laughs> it's so weird that that's like retro YouTube now. Are you fed up of looking like a regular law-abiding citizen? I'm like old school YouTube. You are? Yeah. And even like the graphics you used are pretty old school. They're very 80s. The graphics I still use. I was just actually trying to make graphics, and I don't know what I'm doing, so it kind of looks cool in retro. That was not planned. No, it wasn't, but that's how genius happens. When exactly. it's not planned. That's what I'm talking about. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Genitalia. So when, Whatever. where were you at at that point when you started posting on YouTube? Uh, I graduated from theater school 2001, got a role on a French TV show for five years. <laughs> Five years? I was on TV for five years, <laughs> and no one knows about it because it's French Canadian. Are you tired of women? Fed up of their girly ways? Not sexually attracted to them? No, I mean, it was great five years on this show, and then I was in a band, the band broke up, and then I wasn't on the show anymore, and I had a lot of time on my hands, and I just kind of picked up a camera and started messing around. We have the solution for you. Try being gay. And what was your first video? Uh, first thing I shot uh, was something called, it's still on YouTube, it's called Matthew Desp's Saturday Night Webcam Party. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my webcam. And it's just me, for real, drunk in my apartment. I thought, hey, this is a great idea, a nine minute video of just me in my apartment <laughs> doing nothing. This is going viral. <laughs> Uh, actually, that word didn't even exist back then, so. What was it? This is going popular. This is a lot of people are going to see it on the computer thing. That's how we talked back then. <laughs> um, and yeah, no, so and I just kept doing it, and then eventually I incorporated music into it, and that kind of helped things uh, blow up. Because <laughs> we're going to tell it like it is. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Mixing it with water just to make it last a little longer, but now there's really nothing left. What was the first video that blew up for you? <laughs> uh, first of many. Oh man, I'm so popular. After that, it just went. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Have you ever watched the sun go down and you're thinking about the world spinning round? Yeah, right. High as and. High as. She has a potty mouth. <laughs> Have you ever been high as? No, I did a two girls one cup song. People like to kiss. Some people like to hug, some lesbians like And then I did a Everyday Normal Guy, which I think is the one that people can love. <laughs> Just people saying. love that shit. And I'm not very good with the women. I'm a pretty shy person and I'm average looking. Last time I had sex was in 2003. What are some of your favorite videos that you've done, the ones that stand out? I mean, all of them. Just like little babies. They're all great. <laughs> Let's just be honest here, they're all amazing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with any of my videos. You assume that everyone will think that this song's terrible. When I think something's gonna hit, it usually doesn't, and like Show Me Your Genitals was shot in an afternoon. I made the beat in like 20 minutes. The song I wrote in like 20 minutes. It's not sexist because I'm saying it in a song. It's like yesterday, like Paul McCartney when he talks about when he wrote yesterday. It's exactly like me writing Show Me Your Genitals. Same exact, same kind of thing. If you want to be with me, it goes one of two ways. Either you have sex with me, 
or you have sex with me. And then you had the, the reaction of some people kind of understanding that I was, it was a parody and I was making fun of certain things. But then you'd have the group of people who were like, yeah, finally a guy wrote a song about how I feel about women. Women are only good for three things, cooking, cleaning, and vaginas. And you're like, no. You two no. can be very transparent. Yeah. And that's when I started crying. At what point did the Hollywood offers start coming in? Immediately. <laughs> People just saw it. They were like, this guy, this guy's a star, you know? I, I want him in my movies. He's got calls from everyone, all the big directors. <laughs> Scorsese. Uh, Scorsese. He really connected with the genitals. Yeah, you know? I was supposed to be uh, the Jack Nicholson role in the, in the Departed, but I uh, could see that. I was in Montreal at the time. I was like, you know, Marty, I, I, I'd love to, but I have this thing I'm shooting. And it's a pedophile beards commercial, and all my time is wrapped up, you know. Pedophile beards give you that creepy sex face that women simply can't resist. The people from um, The League, uh, Jeff and Jackie Schaefer, had seen some of my videos. I took a meeting with them, and I didn't know anything about fantasy football. I was very intimidated. Jeff uh, and Jackie, they're both very accomplished uh, writers and producers and directors. And I just felt like this big, and I left, and I didn't think anything was going to happen. It's like anything in Hollywood. You, know, you get here, you take meetings with 100 people, everyone is saying we'll that... Do something! Yeah, whoa, yeah, you'll be in that thing, yeah, I think that you're great. It's like, no, you, just stop it. Just tell me you don't give a shit. <laughs> Two guys have sex with the same girl, they're Eskimo brothers. Eskimo brothers? I slept with your sister. Have you? So what is it like, I guess, you know, dealing with straddling those both worlds of, you know, continuing to do work on YouTube because obviously you want to do that and now working on a really popular TV show? <laughs> I mean, there are, there are moments now when I'm uh, making videos. I still try to ignore that, like the, the pressure to, oh wait, can you actually do this? You're on going into the fourth season of a TV show, John. Can you really be blowing a cucumber and jerking off into a frying pan right now? <laughs> no. Sorry, that's, that's when I guess something's really funny when I snort. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot she has that video of me blowing a cucumber and jerking off into a frying pan. Like if that were a joke, like that is not a joke. I was doing that and I stopped and I edited it into the video I was shooting and I, I kind of sat there and I was like, Let's cut that part out. Not putting them online. How has the channel evolved from when you started? Uh, I just, maybe my, your sense of humor, I guess, keeps evolving. And uh, now I basically um, am just covering um, old Everlast uh, songs. <laughs> so I guess that is a weird evolution. You like this song a lot. Say that you like it a lot. I like it a lot. What's next for you, besides another season of The League? Like, where do you see this platform going? Uh, more fart sounds, different <laughs> kinds of fart sounds. We've opened up the Pandora's yeah. box right now. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. It sounds silly and everyone knows it, but it really is the internet. It's just content. So I don't think there's going to be a difference between sitting down to watch TV or sitting down to watch the internet mm -hmm. in a few years already. It's, there's no difference. We'll see where it goes. If not, you know, I, I used to be a prostitute. I'll go back to it. I didn't hate it. A lot of people shit on it. They're like, what? I'm like, I, you know, it's actually pretty cool. You just think glass half full. If of, okay, I was, I, I almost <laughs> said it. Glass half full of a non-sexual fluid. Fluid that I is not related to that. sex whatsoever. See, that's why I'm not a comedian, because I was like, I didn't even know I was going there. No, you weren't. I just, my head is in a half glass <laughs> <clears throat> That's where my head is. Why is, why am I, I well, uh, I kill people with guns. How? Listen, I just think it's awesome that you've continued, because a lot of people would say, okay, I'm on a show, I'm not even gonna continue this YouTube stuff, but you've continued, one, your control over your channel. Really good. And you're, you're not even into, you know, you could have done the crazy sponsors thing. Yeah, I'm not a sellout. Hey, what can I say? I don't sell out. Wealthy men hired me to sing this song that they wrote for me. I do the pop-up ads on YouTube, but I don't really put ads and stuff yet, because I'm actually making a living, I'm not okay, but as soon as I 
shit, you know, hits the fan. They're gonna be ads all over my videos. And it's just gonna be like a NASCAR. Just Boss, even, just really tattoos, like everything is just gonna be brands all over the place. If you are experiencing all, some, or some of none of these symptoms, you should ask your doctor about Redafin. And especially sometimes I kind of make fun of that stuff, so I feel like it's a bit hypocritical if I just watch this ad and now I'm gonna make fun of these ads. You know, it'd be kind of silly. That's because you're Canadian, that's why you're not a hypocrite. No, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be here. Uh, see you later. Yeah, okay. Well, John, it has been so fabulous to sit with you today. It has been wonderful. And I know it's sweaty, but you did a good job. I only do interviews covered in sweat. That's actually, I, that's why I, this is the prerequisite. I was it's like, like, no, I want to be sweaty. It's like, that's how you get stretched out and in the flow. It's the only way I do this. It's the only way I do it, so thank you. That's thank how we you. connect. I appreciate through that. Through sweats. And thanks to all of you for watching to continue to support what we love doing. Stay tuned next week for another Partners Project. Bye.